Underwater exploration was a shallow experience until scuba tanks were developed in the middle of the 20th century. Filled with compressed air and attached to a breathing regulator, scuba tanks enabled divers to stay underwater longer. This invention took diving to a whole new level. Scuba tanks are a way to bottle the air we breathe and take it with us underwater. To make aluminum scuba tanks, they start with solid cylindrical chunks called slugs. The aluminum alloy slugs tumble around in a perforated rotating drum, which takes them through a series of chemical baths. The baths clean and treat the surface of the aluminum to prepare the slugs for forming. The operator loads the slugs into a feeder system that serves them up, one at a time, to a hydraulic extrusion press. An extrusion piston forces the slug into a die inside the press. It hollows and stretches the slug into the shape of a scuba tank. It takes about 1300 tons of force to transform a solid short chunk of aluminum into a longer hollow cylinder. The shaping process itself generates heat, making the aluminum softer and more malleable. The press establishes the outer diameter of the tank, the inner one, and the base. The process takes just 20 seconds. The freshly formed cylinder now spins as a roller applies a lubricant to the open end. The machine ejects the cylinder. Then it's over to the hydraulic neck press. This press forces the opening of the tank into a die to narrow it substantially. This establishes the basic shape of the scuba tank neck. It still needs more work, but first, the tank shape must be firmed up. They heat treat and then quench the scuba tanks in cool water. The shock of the rapid cooling hardens the aluminum. Back to the neck mill, a spinning computerized cutter shortens it. Then another cutter moves in. Filings fly as it carves excess metal from the outside of the scuba tank neck. A computerized drill widens the neck hole and cuts a pocket for an O-ring seal. The next tool carves a thread into the inside wall of the neck. The threaded profile will allow for connections to an air fill-up valve and to a breathing regulator. Every scuba tank undergoes a test to measure tank expansion under pressure. They fill each scuba tank with water and place it in a test jacket that's also filled with water. Testing equipment increases the pressure in the scuba tank and the tank expands, placing water from the test jacket. By measuring the displaced water, they determine the rate of tank expansion and if it's acceptable, the tank moves on. A scuba tank now spins against a sanding belt. This sanding gives the exterior a brushed finish, which some divers prefer. They etch the serial number and other information onto the upper part of the tank. For a more colorful look, the factory applies a vibrant translucent powder coat to the brushed finish. The finish is purely aesthetic. Aluminum doesn't rust, so a natural finish would weather underwater conditions as well as the powder coat. They bake on the powder coat, giving the tanks a glossy look. These aluminum scuba tanks are now ready to take the pressure. Life is sure to be one underwater adventure after another.